Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Pocket Gear EDC. My name is Mike Lazarecki. I'm the host of this show. This is an exciting episode because it is our first full length video on this channel. So I'm really excited to kind of get started on this. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the Civivi Elementum uh, flipper blade with the liner lock. This is kind of like a, an 18 month review-ish, somewhere about the year and a half mark for me. And um, just gonna do a quick review. This knife has been sort of my daily carry pocket knife for about the last year and a half. And I gotta say overall, it is an incredible value. So spoiler alert, highly recommend. But uh, let's go ahead and just get right into the specs. And if you wouldn't mind, Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button on this video. I'd love to be able to start growing this channel and bringing you guys more and more EDC uh, types of videos. So without any further ado, let's start talking about this little fella, which is that Civivi Elementum. And this one is in the brown micarta and satin uh, D2 steel finish. This pocket knife is really nice to hold in the hand. It is a very minimalist profile as you can see with that very slender uh, grip profile it's got a nice deep carry clip which you can see on mine has some uh, some real kind of nice weathering and a little bit of a patina going on it um, the satin finish d2 blade i have found to have a pretty good edge retention and has really served me well over the course of many many months of use um, and I do really like the look of this brown micarta, although I will say uh, if you're interested in this particular, uh, you know, color combination with the brown micarta and the satin uh, D2 steel, I would highly recommend running over to Civivi's website as it is a discontinued color and it's currently on sale for like some ridiculously low price. It's like $42. Hang on, let me check. Yeah, so it's currently discontinued and on a discontinued price for $46.35. So uh, head on over to Civivi's website to grab one of these guys before they're gone. I think it's a pretty nice looking color combination and uh, with the kind of black accents on the brown micarta, it does just look sort of nice and, and classic. So as for the general look and feel of this particular knife, I really like the overall minimalist appearance and uh, design of this knife. It's very thin, it's easy to carry in the pocket even if you are wearing uh, tighter fitting clothing um, and the size is really good. So generally speaking, uh, the carryability and general overall feeling on this knife is it's an incredible value. Uh, it is very well made, very durable and the edge holds up and uh, I will say that it, it's been a nice little companion for me. Okay, so this knife does have an overall length of 6.99 inches with a 2.96 inch blade length, uh, which is usually pretty well legal to carry in most places. By all means, before you go and buy anything like this, make sure that you are familiar with your state's specific uh, knife carrying laws. So try not to do anything that's you know, against the law, <laughs> uh, that would be not what I'm recommending officially. Uh, blade material, a D2 steel with that satin finish and a hollow grind, which is a really nice combination. This is really nice for general cutting. And I think that that D2 steel does hold an edge pretty well. So based on a pretty much everyday usage type of a pocket knife, uh, this has been very nice for me. The pivot assembly is a caged ceramic ball bearing, which is really nice. It has a very smooth action. Um, and it does feel, yeah, most of the time it'll pretty much fall closed on its own. Uh, this one, I've only really had to take apart to clean and service the bearings a little bit, um, really one time since I've used it. Um, you can clean it up and, and take it apart more often than that and, and do some more maintenance, but it's really not necessary. This thing does a pretty good job of keeping the dust and grime out of it on its own, and it stays really kind of functional on its own pretty much all the time. Uh, I'm not super gentle with my knives. I do tend to use them pretty rough. Um, so I will say that 
the general overall consensus with uh, the Civivi Elementum is that it is a win. It's a great value for what you're getting for the price. Regular price on one of these knives is like 60 to $65, depending on where you buy it. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this particular color combination is discontinued and is currently available on their website for $46. So really, really great value for a knife that will hold up. And really, if this was a knife that came with like a Benchmade logo on it, it would probably cost you $200 uh, just from the standpoint of how nicely made this is. This thing is really, really durable uh, and a really nice knife to carry around. Not too heavy either. It's pretty lightweight for the size. The really cool thing about the Elementum as a knife model from Civivi is that because of how popular this model has become, there are an enormous number of variants out there uh, that the manufacturer has started to make. Some with like a wood handle with Damascus steel, some with more of a, like a G10 handle. Some of them have like a brass or a copper handle. And then I just like the, the variations are pretty much endless. So it's nice to be able to kind of get almost a more customized look to the knife that you have. And it is a really, really nice and reliable carry knife. So if you have an opportunity, I highly recommend you go check out the Civivi Elementum. So that's about all I've got for you guys today. Please let me know in the comments below if there's some other information you'd like me to cover on future knife reviews. I will be doing a bunch of these. I've got a few knives lined up that are from my past carries and more recent stuff. I won't do a full review on a pocket knife unless I've had an opportunity to use it for a little while just so that I have a more real world type of a review to give you guys. But I will do more product highlight or product showcase type videos where I may have not used them all that much and I'll just go over some of my first impressions of the things that I do and don't like about different newer knife models. So let me know down below if you guys have anything specific you want me to cover and if you wanna see more about this particular knife or any other knife that you have in mind to uh, have me take a look at. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, see you later, gearheads.